My name is Drew Ellers. I'm the investigator in charge for the NTSB for the investigation into the Sea Power, uh, Sea Core Power accident. Uh, I'd like to start first by um, uh, extending our sincerest uh, sentiments and heartfelt sentiments to the families and also the community here um, who have been affected by this tragedy. The NTSB will conduct a thorough and objective uh, investigation, but uh, people really are at the heart of what we do and it's why we focus on um, getting the answers right and making sure that um, we support the families and that uh, we would prevent an accident like this happening again. How we'll conduct the uh, investigation, uh, in very general terms, we're going to be looking at three things. Uh, the first is uh, the people involved both at sea and ashore. We'll be looking at the vessel and equipment and also we'll be looking at the conditions that were uh, there on the day of the accident and that's really where we're starting. We're focusing on the weather. We've already enlisted the expertise of the National Weather Service and others to help us with this investigation. As the investigation goes on, uh, we will be utilizing not only the resources of the NTSB but we'll be enlisting the expertise and knowledge of other organizations that can help us understand the vessel and the conditions. These organizations include the U.S. Coast Guard, the National Weather Service, as previously discussed, Seacorp Marine, the owner of the vessel, the operator of the vessel, and also the American Bureau of Shipping. The investigation of this complexity uh, and of, of this size takes time and so we expect the investigation to take anywhere between 12 and 24 months. People have asked me what they can do to help and uh, we know folks were out in the water that day, may have seen something. We know folks experienced the weather out there and we'd like to hear from them. We also would like to hear from folks who have served on that vessel before, who could share photos, video, experiences on that vessel so we can learn more about that vessel. The best way to get in touch with us is via email eyewitness at ntsb.gov that's eyewitness at ntsb.gov